Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Bohm MIDI Translator to do a keyboard split. I've already created a template file. I recommend you do this because it makes it a lot easier to uh, create new projects. And now that I've opened the template file, I'm going to go ahead and select the input ports that I'm going to be using. For demonstration purposes, I'm using Launch Key Mini for input, and I'm going to use Bohm MIDI Translator Virtual Ports 1 and 2 for output. Note, when we're done with this project, we can actually transfer this to Bonebox and use it without a computer. I'm going to define the split point by setting a global variable. I'm going to use a variable GA that defines the split point that I want to use. And I'm going to set it for uh, 60, which is middle C. Now I'm adding a preset uh, in order to use the first method that we're going to discuss and this is going to split uh, by channel. So I'll call the uh, preset split by channel and I'll add a translator and uh, use note as the incoming trigger. Now we're going to create some rules and we're going to look at the value of the note and if it's greater than uh, the split point we're going to set the value of the variable rr to 1 and if it's less than or equal to the split point we're going to uh, set the value of rr to 0. So that'll uh, direct, we'll use the value of rr to direct uh, to which channel we want to send the output. So now we go over to the output section. It's going to be a note on we're going to check uh, the channel will be RR that we're going to send it to. The note number will be the same note that we captured coming in, which will be PP. And the velocity will be the same velocity that we captured coming in, which will be QQ. Now that we've done this for note on, I'm going to just duplicate that and I'm going to change it to note off. And we're going to just set the incoming and outgoing for note off. And uh, the rule should be correct for note off as well. And now we have the note off message all set. Now we're going to open the log window and we're going to test and make sure that the note on and off messages are coming through correctly and on the correct channels depending on the note number. So you can see note 60 and 62 and they're on different channels so everything is working correctly. Now that I've shown you how to do this by channel we're going to create a new preset and we're going to do it a different method this time by device. So I've duplicated the preset. The rules here will be a little bit different. In this case, we're going to use four translators. And two of the translators will output to the first device. And the other two translators will output to the second device. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the value of PP again. And if it's not uh, the device we want, we're going to skip the outgoing action. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and send it onto that device. Here I'm simply copying and pasting the rules into the note off translator. We'll set the device later. On the outgoing message, this time we're going to set it to channel 1 for both instead of using the value of RR. The velocity in the variable or the, uh, the note number will be the same. We're going to select virtual port 1 output for the device. For note off, I've just duplicated the note on translator and now I'm going to change the input values to note off. And I, by duplicating the other translator, uh, the rules will still apply for this. So it, the outgoing device is already properly set. 
We just need to make sure it's sending a note off. Here I'm going to rename the translators to MT1 because that's the device we're sending it out. And what I'm going to do for the other port is I'm going to just duplicate these translators and then I'll redirect it to the other port and change the rules a little bit. So for MIDI Translator 2 port, I want to only send it if it's less, it's if it's greater than, and I want to skip it otherwise. So now I just change the rules on those two translators, and then the output port I'm going to direct to virtual port 2 instead of virtual port 1 for each of these two translators. Here I'm disabling the first preset so that we can only see the output by the one we've just created by channel. I'm changing the log window options so that we can see exactly which port each one's going out. So now we're looking at the log and you can see going out to virtual translator port 1 and translator port 2. So it looks like it's working correctly. So let's add just another little option here on the split by device. I'm going to just take the notes that are uh, on the upper half and we're going to transpose the incoming note down by a couple of octaves and that way uh, you can control two different synths in the same octave area uh, by doing this transpose. So we'll do this with both the note on and so all we do is subtract 24 from the incoming value after we know that we're going to work with it and we'll do that on the, the note off as well so we don't have any hanging notes. So there you have it. Thanks for watching today and if you have any questions feel free to reach us at www.bohm.com.